<clears throat> Hi, everyone. Welcome to Website Wednesday. It is July 7th, 2021. My name is Angelo Otterbein, Chief Innovation Officer here at Final Site, and we are going to take a look at three new sites uh, that launched recently and all similar in terms of overall first impression, um, large images, um, and kind of that big full frame shot of campus, uh, but they all have their unique design features. And I think, so I think this is a good set to compare. I'm gonna start, let's see, with Holy Family. Oh, it's here. So, you know, one thing that jumps out to me for one is, is purple. Um, um, there are uh, obviously other schools out there that have purple in their color palette, but um, it's not it's not common. So I, I've always liked the, the color purple when I see it. I like the fact that they've got a few images that pick up on that purple. Uh, but you really get uh, a clear sense of uh, the Catholic tradition, um, the, the Christian underpinnings, and that comes through in images, but also in the content that they're sharing. Um, nice utility nav in terms of quick access to things that are important for current families and a very simple, um, you know, kind of well, well curated set of links for the sub nav um, with, with nice clean descriptions of each section. The sticky nav on the right is smart, inquire, apply, and tour. Um, you know, really what we're trying to do is generate kind of a next step for the user who may have heard of Holy Family um, but haven't just taken that next, you know, that next step. Uh, and what I like about it when I when I say mention uh, messaging, you know, what we often when we when we refer to the the trifecta, I guess, of mind, body, spirit. It often is in that order: mind, body, spirit. And I think it's interesting and notable that for Holy Family High School, it's spirit, mind, body. Um, so spirit comes first, and then mind. And, body and I'm assuming that's intentional I don't know that for sure but it certainly jumped out at me um, having seen lots of schools that, that feature or talk about mind body spirit um, swapping that spirit into first place I think really says something about kind of how they view uh, the, the relative importance I'm sure all of them are important in terms of the whole person of course but spirit spirit really takes takes the first seat um, and then they have this nice kind of circular interactive infographic. So in the middle, you get the updated uh, data point. So honors and AP courses, students enrollment, that teacher faculty ratio. I thought that was kind of cool. The 34 cities represented um, in a big athletic program, 43 teams, I think is all pretty awesome. Um, 19 students in a class, 85% of their teachers have advanced degrees. So a nice set of facts and it's sort of fun to kind of loop around and see what they're offering. A uh, nice presentation of the um, news, of featured news. And I like the, I'm always, um, I always think the matriculation or college ticker tape is a, is a good answer, especially for a high school in particular, um, where you're really talking to parents who are thinking about private or Catholic school uh, in part for the, you know, the college prep piece of it. So, you know, making sure that, you know, parents are aware of the, how the school thinks about uh, college admissions and the process and that it puts a priority on them, I think is really, really good. Big calls to action at the bottom, inquire, apply, and tour, um, and nice links to social media. Within the site, um, there's, you know, just, I think it's a pretty o overall just, um, easy site to get around, which is what I like about nice big pictures, very authentic, you know, and you know, not a lot of content. Um, and you can get through it, you could actually get through the whole website pretty quickly. And I, and I think that's good. I mean, often, I'll focus on page on uh, pages that have a lot um, with accordions and tab treatments and all sorts of stuff packed into one page. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, either. I think there's that's a great way to go, but there's a lot to be said also for having pages that are just really easy and simple and don't ask a lot of the reader. Um, you could always come back to these pages, add more pictures and testimonials. I mean, all that stuff helps. Um, but I thought that, you know, this this was working pretty well for the school. I'm now jumping to Tennessee uh, Battleground Academy. So one thing that's kind of fun, just 
that you may not notice in the screen share is the uh, kind of hanging flags. So as I scroll down, they disappear. And I don't know why I think that's fun, but it's just, it's sort of like a reveal that goes along with the individual panels as, as you move down. This concept of education elevated plays out in a few places on the site. Um, so they've, they've done a nice job of picking something, um, these, these two words, education elevated, as a central theme that plays out both in navigation and headers in design. Um, and then they define it uh, in, in, in respect to their mission and what they're committed to. Um, you know, number one, you know, everybody wants to be, or I think most of us want to be associated with something that's first. And, um, you know, so I think they put that front and center. I think that's smart. Number one, number one private K-12 school in Williams, Williamson County. Uh, 132 years is a nice um, back to future. And then they have this animated, uh, some of these uh, uh, numbers will animate, which is cool. 95% um, retention, 75 plus clubs, you know, big school. Lots of offerings, uh, impressive in terms of community service. And this picture behind the, the infographics is also really cool. So it's a fun action shot that we probably are all familiar with at some level of being that age and running in a foot race or something. Um, you know, just a nice image that uh, resonates. Nice sort of parallax-like effect where the image, the background and foreground are moving at different paces as you scroll. I think it's smart to transition to a, you know, a white background from a dark one. So there's this alternating blue uh, and white. And so this really pops as you leave the infographic panel. Um, and so then each of these gives you a little more information before you dive in, uh, sort of classy calls to action to get into the interior for each of the school levels. Um, nice. Accent colors, the yellow or gold, and the kind of greenish color, uh, in addition to the their deep blue. And then they take the more of the programmatic distinctions, the BGA way, equity and inclusion, college counseling, and build those as its own little carousel. So once you get into the interior, um, you know they have some nice pages with um, some some graphic touches that add. Um, you know, these related to the honor code, you know, with the call out and the gold bar, you know, those are just little things that can really make a difference in terms of a family's perception. I really like the happening at BGA and I like it because you've got a, a couple of events and a nice design, and then you've got some featured news, but it's not just a traditional lineup. Um, it's got one big one um, and then a couple of little ones. So it's, it's just visually interesting. And then here, just a different layout as far as inquire, apply, visit. And I, I was, I was intrigued by this piece of art behind it. I don't know. If I, I wasn't. I didn't see it elsewhere on the site, but I'm curious if it is because it seems like a really cool piece of unique um, artwork that um, would be would you know. I'm sure that students or teachers or that is probably very recognizable part of their campus, and it probably sits somewhere in the main building. I'm just speculating, but if it does, I'd like to see more of it. I thought that was kind of cool. I always think that line, that, that artwork that's specific to the school is a nice balance to, you know, beautiful photography, which, which clearly is the you know, Battleground Academy has, um, you know, some really lovely shots. And here you can see um, in, in a lot of cases, I don't know if this is all coincidence or all intentional, but almost every image has a course, you know, sort of matches in terms of picking up the blues and golds, um, just about all of them. And, and when you do stuff like that, it, it just feels very coherent and fun. And, that, you know, pictures like this, I think, combined with some of the other action shots, I love that. I love pictures when there's a, generally, I, I, I dissuade schools from posting just large groups of people because we don't know who they are. But I think in this case, where you're really sharing a collective success to, of all of these students going on to college is just very impressive. And so in this particular case, I think it's, I think it's a great uh, solution, as well as shots like that that are you know, kind of in the moment, um, really cool, fun 
pictures. And then last, we are going to look at Notre Dame High School. This is in New Jersey. So, you know, you, you, you're seeing a couple of different websites that show the inquire visit apply in different places. They're not necessarily in a, a right or wrong answer. It's just sort of what fits with the design. Um, these have some nice full screenshots. In this case, the navigation is tucked in the hamburger menu. And you pick up the inquire visit apply here with a search. But what it does is it frees up the entire homepage for these, you know, these big, nice pictures. Um, you know, scrolling down, you get the kind of the slow, or no, I guess it's, it's quick, quick enough, but the welcome kind of appears. And then you get the respect, integrity, justice, compassion, and service. So nice um, opening welcome statement with a link to more. And then the why Notre Dame um, plays out with this big block with a, about the school. And then you've got the individual um, distinctions that they want to point you to, like Catholic mission, diversity, and inclusion, and so forth. So, you know, this is a nice framed panel that I think is really important to the to the whole website. I really like the way this is laid out, um, the overlapping rectangles and a, link, a way to link to and hear the story as well as written testimonials, I think are really, uh, is a really smart combination and, and clean way to, to do that. And then you've got the footer. Um, I like this, you know, having this stuff located on 100 beautiful acres in central New Jersey. Um, spells out college prep school, 9 to 12, foundation of Catholic faith. With it's, you know, these simple sentences are hard to really write well. And, and so I think this is tight and does a lot in just a few words in terms of really explaining who they are and who they serve and why they think, um, you know, they're, or what kind of what their kind of value proposition is. So really nice job with that. Um, I would encourage you to take a minute and check out these websites and um, congratulations to, to you all for making it to the end and good luck with the summer and um, we'll see you next week.